Hello! Welcome to Stranded Sailors Wines. Today we're going to be transferring this raspberry wildberry wine, raspberry blackberry wildberry wine. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the airlock. Well, I said I'm going to take off the airlock. Take off the airlock and I'm going to put it in my cup of star sand. This started out as a 12% alcohol by volume. And as you can tell, this is the carboy that got warped by hot water. First thing we're going to do is we're going to lift it up. And we're going to let the majority of it strain out. We're going to start from the top, pressing down, and strain out the juice out of it. Start at the top and press, press down just to get the juices out of the bag. We don't want to get too much pulp out of it, but we want to make sure we get the juice out of the bag. And this has been setting for about 10 days in the primary fermenter. The bubbler's totally stopped. Started out with 10 pounds of blackberries and raspberries. And this is my second batch of wildberry wine, raspberry and blackberry. I was very impressed with the first batch. It's a really good flavor. It's a very good wine. I was very impressed with how it turned out. So I made a second batch. I hope everybody's having a fruitful new year so far. I thank you for tuning in to Stranded Sailor Wines. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm pressing from the top down. But I want to get as much fluid out of this bag as I can get out of it. So I get all the juices out. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing from one side up against the side of the carboy so I can help get some leverage to push Push all the juices out of it. And I got it pushed so much out just to even be able to get it out of the carboy. But this bag is slammed full of juices, even though most of the berries has been. The yeast done a really good job. But I still got the mash to get the to be able to work it out of the top of the carboy anyway, so I'm gonna have to mash the juices out. And once it gets to where I can I can get the bag out, then I'll go on and pull the pulp bag on out. But until then, I'm going to just keep squishing. Get as much juice as I can out of this bag.
a five gallon bucket as your primary fermenter, you don't have a problem like this. But I use these plastic carboys. Keep working with it, you'll get it where you can get it out. There you go. All right. I'm going to set my pork bag in the pot. I'm going to set my pot over here. Take some hot water. Get some star sand and rinse my hands off. Grab me a paper towel or two. Now we're going to transfer it into this Italian glass carboy. This is a three gallon batch. We're going to use this Italian glass carboy. You want to be careful with these carboy, glass carboys because they will break. But if you're going to buy a glass carboys, you want to make sure you get Italian glass carboys because Italian glass carboys are known for quality. If they do not say Italian glass carboys, then they are most likely made in China or Mexico and they will break. You can look on YouTube and find videos about cheap carboys and it'll show you cases of them breaking. So you want to be careful on what kind of glass carboys you, you buy. Now you want to stick your hose all the way to the bottom as far down in the carboy as you possibly can to limit oxygenation. While at the same time, you want to keep it off the bottom. You auto siphon a couple times and get it started. As you can see, it flows mighty nicely. And auto siphon works wonderful. Once you get it started, it'll automatically pump. Now this started out at 12% alcohol by volume. And I was so impressed with my first batch of wild berry wine that I made a second batch. That's why we're doing this today. It has a wonderful taste. It's got a little bit of raspberries on the back side. It's got a wonderful sweet taste to it. It's not too overpowering, it's just right. And I was very impressed with it, so I made a second batch. And I watched this movie, From the Vines. It was made a couple years ago, and it's got this song in it. The vines make the grapes, the grapes make the wine, and the wines make the dream of loving her on the Isles of Capri. It's a very good movie. I like the song. Uh, I actually incorporated it into a little short video I done the other day. I can't get the, the little song out of my head, even though I can't remember all the words. It's a very good movie. If you like making wine, you should check it out. The name of the movie is From the Vine. I 
think it was made in 2020. 2020. It's a very good movie, though. Now, this is the carboy that got crashed because of, I put too hot of water in it. So it's a little bit warped up and distorted, so I don't know exactly the right amount of water. Uh, the displacement in it got offset because it got warped. Anyway, as I get down to the bottom, I'm going to tilt it. But we want to stay off the yeast in the bottom. But I don't think it's exactly, or the measurements on the side is not exactly right. So the displacement's off. So I may or may not have exactly three gallons in this batch. I've done more this time, so maybe I've got it right. I don't know. There is a bunch of yeast in the bottom of this. That's a lovely burgundy color, though. I love it. And I love the taste of this wild berry wine, too. I don't know. This is pretty close. I'm going to leave, leave pretty much behind because I'm about to quit. Because I don't want to suck up all this yeast. I might have sucked up a little bit. But we'll add water. I'm going to disconnect the hose and leave my auto siphon lead in the sink. And you can see I left a considerable amount in there, but you can also see there's a lot of yeast in the bottom, and that's what we're racking out of it. Now we'll have to add several quarts. But you can see, is that not a pretty burgundy color. Now, let's test it. We're going to take our turkey baster. We're going to fill our cylinder up. And the bubbler was totally quit, so it should be, fermentation should be 100% done, but we're going to test it anyway. Stick that back in my cup of star sand. Pull my hydrometer out. I'm going to clean my hydrometer with star sand before we test it. We want everything that, anything that touches your wine needs to be sanitized. Oh yeah, that's 100% fermented, it's 0999, 100% fermented. I'm going to pull the hydrometer back out, clean it with star sand one more time, and I'll rinse it again. I'm going to lay that right there, I'm going to grab my little little final 
Put my final back on top. I'm gonna pour this back in. I did make a little bit of a spill. I'm gonna just cap this back off with water. my airlock out. I'm going to put my airlock back in. I'm going to put my bone in first. Mash it way down in there. I'm going to put my airlock in. And I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to Stranded Sailors Wines today. For helping me transfer this wild berry, raspberry, blackberry wine from the primary fermenter to the secondary fermenter, 12% alcohol by volume. Uh, much appreciate your time and watching my videos. And thank you for making Stranded Sailor Wines part of your day. Until next time, this is Greg tuning out. Thank you. I appreciate it.